everyone. I am Bill Powers alongside Jack Parry, and we are bringing you coverage of the From Peekskill to Albany Parade in honor of our favorite son here in the city of Peekskill, George Pataki. Governor-elect Pataki will be here in just a few minutes, and the crowd is building around here on the reviewing stand, and we took a ride in one of the Peekskill police cars a little while ago, Jack, and saw that the crowd was building all the way down Washington Street onto Division in Maine. So this is going to be a terrific day, I think, for the city of Peekskill. It's a grand and glorious day for Peekskill. The weather is great. The crowd is outstanding. Probably the greatest crowd ever assembled in the city, I would guess, Bill. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an enthusiastic crowd. They, can, they can't wait for the governor-elect to come through and, and see him up close and congr offer congratulations. And I'm sure a lot of people here would love to have the opportunity to shake his hand. And this has also turned into uh, actually a weekend-long event uh, because the Clydesdale horses, which will be at the end of the parade, are actually being housed at the Armory on Washington Street. And uh, there was a huge crowd there yesterday, and you happen to be wearing a memento from that occasion. I, I was there yesterday uh, as the guest of Dominic Bertolini of D. Bertolini and Sons, uh, and uh, all the Bertolinis were there. Uh, they have played a very, very influential role in, in today's activities, and obviously they were strong supporters of Governor Lech Pataki and his campaign. And uh, many of you have seen George Pataki on uh, the David Letterman show, and we're going to show you uh, the top ten ways that he mispronounced uh, Pataki in just a minute. But let's take an interview here, take a moment and interview some of the kids that are here. Why don't we start with you? Why don't you tell, you, tell us your name and uh, what you know about George Pataki? Uh, my name is Krista Pappas, and I know he's the New York governor. And why did you come out today? To see him in the parade. Okay. And what about you? Tell us your name and uh, what you know about the governor-elect. Matthew Dietrich Lizzie. And what do you know about George Pataki? Um, I know he's the New York governor-elect. Right. And uh, why did you come out today? Because I want to see the parade and all the horses. Okay. And uh, why don't you tell us your name? Christy. And what are you doing here today? Um, um. <laughs> did you come to see the parade? Yeah. Okay. And do you have a flag, too? How you doing? And you're going to wave the flag when Governor-elect Pataki comes by? Yeah. And let's go up here. Let's tell us your name and uh, what you're doing here. Kimberly Pappas. And uh, why are you here? To see the parade. <laughs> and what are your favorite things in the parade? The horse, the Clydesdale horses and George Pataki. Okay. And let's move down a little bit here. You told me that uh, your family knows uh, George Pataki a little bit. Why don't you tell us about that? My dad grew up. Does your dad tell you any stories about the, the new governor? No. <laughs> and uh, what are you waiting for today in the parade? What's your favorite? The horses. Okay. It seems that the uh, Clydesdale horses are the big favorite here, Jack. As we mentioned, uh, George Pataki has been on uh, not only major news shows, but he made an appearance on the David Letterman program not too long ago. And uh, that was a very humorous event for people. And for people in Peekskill, it was a great opportunity to see uh, George Pataki on a national program like that. And David Letterman has been promoting George. I think he's his best PR person that he could possibly have. Let's take a look at the top 10 ways to mispronounce Pataki. Number 10, Patsuki. Number 9, Pakatiki. Number 8, Paturki. Number seven, Souflaki. <laughs> Number six, Pat Say Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Number five, Fat Ducky. And number four, Cat Khakis. Right. Number three, Will Cut Taxes. Ah, <laughs> number two, Cold Six Packy. <laughs> and the number one way to mispronounce the name of the governor-elect of the state of New York, Boutros Boutrosak. <laughs> Welcome back to Continental Cablevision coverage of the From Peekskill to Albany Parade. We're here on the corner of James and Park Street, Jack, and the parade route, I think, is just a, a little a little ways down here on uh, J uh, Division Street. I saw some flashing lights go by just a little while ago. And uh, 
the weather is ter is terrific this time. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, here we are in the month of December, and who would believe that we'd be approaching 60 degrees and no wind and just a very comfortable shirt sleeve crowd kind of. Uh, it uh, somebody was watching over us today, Bill. When uh, we refer to our favorite sun, we mean George Pataki, but today with the sun, I think uh, with the temperatures that we have here for December, I think that's our favorite sun, too. Exactly. It's interesting when you were talking to the kids before, the, one of the highlights that they can't wait to see come through are the Clydesdales. And I saw the Clydesdales down at the Armory yesterday, Bill, and they are truly impressive. And I'm sure they're going to be the hit of the parade, uh, second only to the governor-elect. Okay. We also uh, have a crew out and about who uh, went out and interviewed a few people. So let's take a look at that videotape, and when we come back, We'll be up on the reviewing stand in just a few minutes. The governor-elect, George Pataki, will be here. Okay, we're here just before the start of the parade with Rick Badman, and you're a Peeksco resident, right? Yes, I am. What are your feelings about today's parade? Well, I think this is great that uh, a little community like this, some place that a lot of people say, well, they really don't matter, that we finally have a governor come from here. Are you surprised that George Pataki made it this far? Well, actually not. I think a lot of people are getting tired of Cuomo because uh, they never really see an improvement that much in New York, and might as well give this guy a shot. Okay, thanks a lot. Can I say something, man? Sure. I wish the governor all the happiness from the bottom of my heart. Give us a second. Okay. Ready? What do you have to say about the new governor? I think he's a great man. He'll lower our taxes, you know. Uh, maybe city, state, and federal taxes, like maybe 3%, which would be a blessing, you know. And what about, are you excited for today's parade? Yes, in a way, am I? I want to get the governor's autograph, but the police officer told me I have to ride. I can't get on. I have to wait for, how do I get his autograph? I don't know. you got to track him down, I guess. Well, have a good time. It was nice talking to you. Nice speaking to you, too, young lady. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. All right, we'll start on you and then we'll go down to the little boy, okay? okay. Hi, I'm Peggy Galati and this is my son Michael and we came down to the parade so that somewhere when Michael is 18 or 20 years old, we can tell him that he was at Governor Pataki's first parade in Peekskill. Michael, what do you feel about the parade? How are you doing today? Good. If you look there, you're going to be... Are you excited for the parade? Yeah. Let's see your flag there. Hold it up. And uh, you are seeing coverage here on Continental Cablevision. There is the governor-elect, the favorite son of the city of Peekskill, along with his wife and kids. And I believe his mom is in the front seat. George Pataki is getting a huge round of applause. And as the motorcycle police escort goes by, the smiles on uh, the, uh, all of the police officers and also on all of the crowd here is just terrific. They're riding in an open-air convertible, and uh, this is what everybody waited for, Jack. They, this is what they waited for. Well, this is great. You know, uh, former Mayor Vin Vesey just came up on the stand, and he, he just came along the parade route, and he says it's a truly fantastic crowd out there. And there's Governor Pataki waving to us at this time. And this is just a terrific event for the people here. There's also some 100 uh, members of the Fraternal Order of Police there is also a significant amount of security, as you could possibly imagine, and uh, the governor-elect and his whole family are here, and they're making their way to the reviewing stand. There are also, Jack, some 60 other dignitaries that are here, and the governor is just moving right into the crowd where the Fraternal Order of Police have gathered. And there's uh, the governor and his wife, Libby, and the, and the uh, judge's mother, and the two kids. Uh, this is uh, really a family event, Bill. Uh, the security surrounding the governor-elect is incredible. They're massive uh, undercover and uniformed police and security people accompanying him. The governor there just getting a big hug from his friend Ralph Palea, who is uh, dressed all in uh, Pataki garb. And uh, the governor-elect's wife, uh, Libby Pataki, has just made her way onto the reviewing stand. And the children are getting set to watch the rest of the parade. And uh, this is just a terrific experience for everybody. And as uh, we're watching the governor, and he's being surrounded now by everyone over, uh, all the press people have gathered around him at this point. Maybe if we could uh, talk to Libby Pataki as your husband is on camera. Let's talk to Libby. Libby, how are you doing? Oh, this is unbelievable. I mean, this is beyond our wildest dreams. I mean, I can't believe the warmth and the affection and just, you know, the signs and the flowers and it's great. We're so happy. And uh, what kind of response did you get along the parade route? It was just 100% enthusiastic. I mean, our, our mouths are killing us from smiling so hard, but I've never seen anything like it. Everybody 
everybody's just so happy today. And how are the kids taking the parade today? I think they're uh, really surprised. <laughs> this is pretty unbelievable. Well, this whole thing came together in about a three-week time period, and we certainly appreciate your help and your husband's help in putting this together along with your staff. Well, we were just very pleased we could be here, and, and God is smiling on us today. This is pretty unusual to have a parade like this in December with this kind of 60-degree weather. We, we certainly lucked out. Our favorite son is George Pataki, but I think it's also the sun up in the sky today because it's nice and warm. And our God in heaven. Absolutely. <laughs> now, absolutely. Now, let me just ask you one other quick question while your, your husband is being swamped by the media. Um, how's your life changed in the last three weeks? Is it a whirlwind? Uh, well, it's, it can't be more of a whirlwind than it was during the election period, but we're, we're very happy now because we can now set ourselves to the tasks of um, the transition team, putting a new government in place. There is an absolutely unbelievable amount of work to be done, but we're um, setting ourselves to the task, and hopefully by January we'll have some things online. And we've also noticed that uh, your husband is just getting a tremendous amount of support around New York State. Well, I think it's really starting to come together. The silly season is over, and he is getting support. People are welcoming him. I mean, he really, they put him there for change, and they can see that the fellow's going to, he's really going to do his darndest. He's very sincere. He always has been. I'm happy that the rest of the state can see him the way Peekskill has always seen him. And you've seen a lot of your friends, I think, on the uh, on the parade route today. I think I've seen them. I haven't had a chance to um, wave and smile at all of them. There were just so many here. I, I'm afraid I missed a few, but anybody out there that I missed, I'm sorry, and I'll Pay closer attention next time. Well, this will be shown on local cable television, so this is your opportunity to talk to the people and just give them uh, one last thank you for yourself. Uh, well, thank you on behalf of George, uh, myself, and our four children. Uh, this is just this is just wonderful. I can't express my gratitude. Thank you, Libby. And you, you can go and have a seat or watch the rest of the parade. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And we'll talk to you maybe again a little bit later. So that was uh, the governor-elect's wife, Libby Pataki, who many people know from the farmer's market and also from the Pataki farm stand, Jack. And uh, the governor is still shaking hands. This has really turned into a, a terrific uh, parade. The parade is a little ways away. The governor was out ahead of the parade so he could go ahead and uh, uh, see the people on the parade route and not tie up the parade. You know, it's interesting. The governor-elect is having a hard time making it to the reviewing stand, Bill. Uh, He's uh, kind of walking away from the security people and going into the crowd to, to shake hands with many of the, the local people that have yeah, go, go, shown go. up to congratulate him and offer him their best wishes. And it's incredible. He's just reaching out to them. Uh, he wants to be with, with this crowd and, and not shuttled off uh, uh, to some other place. Uh, he's, he's really uh, out there mingling, uh, hugging and kissing. Uh, classmates of his from, from Peekskill High School uh, are here to greet him, and I think they're presenting him with a, a basketball shirt. He was a Peekskill High School basketball player, and I think uh, this year's team is presenting him uh, with, his, uh, with his shirt and retiring his number officially at Peekskill High School. Well, I think that's what's going to happen. We have the uh, Peekskill High School uh, marching band along with the uh, school district representatives. They'll all be here, and uh, they anticipate... Uh, Oh, George takes the, the easy way up. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. No, that's quite all right. I, I, not, not, I think you're already disrupted things enough. But let me just, while I have you here for a moment and we're, uh, everybody's watching us, uh, this is your opportunity for the people who you didn't get to see on the, uh, uh, on the parade route to say thank you. Well, I just want to thank everybody. It's, uh, uh, they're going to try to take me out of Peak School, but it's not going to happen. This is my hometown. It's been a part of my life forever, and it's going to keep being a part of our lives. And It's just a tremendous thing to see so many people and old friends today. What kind of support did you see on the parade route today? Oh, it's just tremendous. Uh, all the old friends. We have a group from my old Peak School High, class of 63, right here cheering. And uh, I saw a couple of friends from Howard Hill across the street from where I grew up, who I haven't seen in probably 35 years. And they came from upstate New York. And oh, it's, that's just, it's just great, Bill, to... to feel the warmth of the people at Peekskill and, this, and the whole area today. And I've got to tell you, there are a few special treats uh, planned by the Peekskill High School uh, cheerleaders and also the band a little bit later and the basketball coach, and uh, we'll leave that to them when they get here. But i got to tell you that so many people have come up to me and said they have so much pride in Peekskill, and really it's all because of you. Well. Well, I am because what I am because of Peekskill and because of the support and the schools and the teachers and the friendship and the people who gave me the chance to be mayor. Uh, and it's a two-way street. And I can't thank the people of Peekskill enough. And it's just a tremendous honor to be here. How's the transition going? It's going very well. It's uh, we got a month to go. We only have to. Uh, 
change about $5 billion in spending over the next four weeks, but we're going to figure out a way to do it. And one last question. How was your appearance on The Letterman Show? Was it as, as exciting for you as it was for everybody to see you? This is more exciting to me than being on Letterman. This Great. is real. This is home. That was fun, but this is more real. Thank you, George. Thank we'll you let you get to the rest of you. What do you got to do? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good luck with everything in Good Albany. And uh, it, pandemonium on the reviewing stand, Jack. Uh, the governor-elect apologized for uh, creating such a stir, but wherever he goes now, anything he mentions is going to be uh, newsworthy. And, of course, people just want to get pictures and talk to the governor. And uh, the, the police security here is just lined up in front of us now to uh, make sure that they can pull the crowd back a little bit before the parade gets here. And as we mentioned to you, Jack, that... Uh, the governor-elect and his family rode in a car in order for them to uh, get ahead of the parade and spend the actual hour, hour and a half or so uh, to review the parade as they go by. Uh, you know, what's interesting, Bill, is he's, he's such a genuine person feeling that he needs to apologize for disrupting something. Uh, today, you don't apologize for being governor-elect George Pataki. This is his day in his hometown with the support of his people. And I think his words are about the people in Peak School that were so important to him, the people in the school system, his friends and, and uh, uh, in the community and in the neighborhoods. Uh, th those are the people that stand out in his mind the most. He has actually just gone back off the reviewing stand and has made his way back into the crowd. And that's the kind of person George is. He's a people person. And anybody who knows him, uh, you know, they, that really they know that he's a true people person and that he's very human. And uh, he's just gone back into the crowd. And you can tell that everyone here is just, uh, they just want to talk to him, say hello to him, congratulate him. And it's been difficult because uh, he's been so busy over the last three or four weeks. And now... Uh, He's, uh, he's mingling with some of the other people in the crowd, and they're, uh, he's giving an autograph to a youngster with a Knicks cap on, and that's the kind of person he is. And that kid now is going to go home and remember that for the rest of his life. I knew I should have brought my Celtics cap with me, Bill. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is incredible. I, I think he, I have a hunch it's deliberate, but George was well ahead of the parade in terms of uh, his uh, escorted uh, motorcade. And thank heavens it happened that way, Bill, because uh, this crowd here is just, uh, I won't say out of control, but it, it just wrapped up with enthusiasm and would have interfered uh, had the parade been close behind. Absolutely, and uh, the crowd has just swelled here, and everybody's waving at George, and they know him personally. They've had an opportunity in the past to shake his hand or talk to him, and this is their opportunity to see them and congratulate him on, on a, a job well done. And we certainly wish him all the best as he's in his way to Albany now. Uh, he's having his uh, picture taken. Uh, he's posing with the uh, motorcycle police officers who, who represent four or five different law enforcement agencies. And now uh, George Pataki's Senate campaign staff are approaching. And this is part of the crowd of the dignitaries that are here. And you can see George giving somebody a hug there. And again, this crowd is just thrilled to see the governor-elect here in the city of Peekskill. And I've got to tell you that over the last three weeks, uh, we have to thank the New York State Police, the Peekskill Police, and all the other police departments for what they've done in the last three weeks to make this thing possible. It's not easy anymore uh, being George Pataki and moving around the streets of Peekskill or anywhere for that matter, but this is his hometown. And uh, we've gotten a tremendous amount of support from the community and the police departments, and this is just a terrific event here for the city of Peekskill. You know, it's, it's amazing just watching George roam the streets. I, I, as I look at the monitor, I can see that he has no plans of returning to this reviewing stand. He wants to be out there with the people, and uh, he's just walking all over the place, signing autographs, shaking hands, hugs and kisses. Uh, you can tell this is his hometown, and it means a great deal uh, to him to have a day like today and to have all these people turn out to wish him well. We have uh, not only uniformed police officers, Jack, but uh, police officers on the surrounding rooftops, and they're doing everything they can to protect the governor-elect. And this is just a, a terrific event for the city of Peekskill. The police have actually moved the crowd back a little bit across the street. They put up a portable uh, moving line. And uh, we do expect the start of the parade to happen in just a few minutes. Uh, we also see in the crowd Police Chief Gene Tumalo, who, who has been instrumental in uh, making the security arrangements here today. And that's just terrific that we've seen this. And uh, we have Vinnie Vesey, who will be announcing on stage uh, in just a little while. Uh, and there's uh, Mike Bennett with his WLNA uh, microphone uh, 
interviewing uh, Pataki campaign supporters uh, right in front of our reviewing stand here. Uh, Mike, uh, a long-term, uh, long-time supporter of community activities here in Peekskill. And we had an opportunity earlier to take a, a ride by uh, Peekskill police to uh, view the rest of the uh, parade route, Jack, and the crowd was really building on Washington Street and on South Street and then on to uh, Division and uh, right here on to James Street. And this is a huge parade that we have that's going to be happening here in the next, uh, oh, I would say maybe 10 minutes or so. And uh, there's a lot of coordination that's gone into this. And let's see if we could talk to former Mayor Vinny Vesey for a second while George is still out in the crowd uh, pressing the flesh and yes, talking to his supporters. What kind of day does this mean for you now? Oh, it, it was just uh, fabulous. You know, I rode in the, in the lead car, Bill, to uh, try and get a feel for uh, uh, what this means to the community. And I've got to tell you, I've never seen a larger turnout for a parade in the city of Peekskill, and I've been in many of them over the last 13 years. It was just a great tribute to George and a, and a great feeling on behalf of the entire area and the entire community. People just feel great right now, and, and they should. And uh, I talked to George a little while ago when he first came up here, and I told him that uh, the kids from Peekskill High School have a special presentation for him, and uh, that, that meant more to him, I think, and this means more to him than ever appearing on uh, the David Letterman show or anything like that. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, I, I was down at the uh, start of the parade and got a chance to mingle with some of the, uh, some of the bands and some of the groups, and the Peekskill High School uh, marching band was so geared up for this. The cheerleaders, they, they just feel terrific pride, you know? It's one of their, one of their classmates, one yeah. of their alumnus, you know? It's wonderful. We're going to let you get back to your duties, all right, because well, we, we see the first color guard coming down the street. You go ahead and do that. And, uh, Jack, the first uh, division is actually starting. In the background, the audience is going to hear from Mayor Vinny Vesey, who is handling the public address system here from the reviewing stand. I don't know what kind of competition that's going to be with us. Uh, leading the parade is the Marine, uh, Marine Corps um, Bugle Corps Color Guard. The Marine Corps Color Guard. The Marine Corps Color Guard, which uh, they were actually up uh, at uh, Stewart Air Base earlier today, and they actually have to leave here immediately after going past the reviewing stand. They are actually going to be leaving here and going back up to uh, Stewart Air Force Base, where uh, they are taking part in other ceremonies up there. And this is the Fighting 69th Color Guard coming up. Uh, they're traditionally known as the leaders of the St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, in New York City. Uh, usually they're led by local uh, bagpiper Joe Brady, who I assume is some, uh, somewhere else in this parade. I would think he is, and uh, while we have a moment as the color guards are going by, if we can possibly speak to Vinny Lybell. And uh, Vinny, uh, what's your reaction to this day? Oh, it's just a wonderful turnout. This is really hometown uh, stuff. A reception like this you can get uh, only once in a few generations. Uh, Everybody's out here to salute not only George, but the Pataki family. It's a wonderful uh, turnout, and I, th I know how grateful George is for it. And uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to working with the governor starting January 1st. I am. I'm looking forward. I, as you know, I'm going to be taking George uh, Pataki's Senate seat in the state Senate, and I look forward to serving with him. We have a great many challenges. I know he's up to the task, and I believe my colleagues and I will be up to the task. We have a, a lot ahead of us in the next two years. Okay, thanks. Vinny Leibel. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. And this is the 199th Governor's Band that's moving by the reviewing stand now. This is the 199th Marching Band, and it is known as the Governor's Band. Yeah, they're based at Camp Smith and are on call to accompany the Governor anywhere he needs the company of a marching military unit. Thank you. 
across the street, Jack, at a sign that says Pataki 2000 for president. So uh, people have George moving uh, in and out of the governor's mansion as quickly as possible. Uh, passing in front of the stand now, Bill, uh, various National Guard units stationed out of the Peekskill Armory. I think some of these uh, men and women were on uh, duty today and uh, actually on drill today, I was told. And now the, uh, this is the uh, Corps of Cadets, the 5th Corps of Cadets, which is also based at the armory here uh, in Peekskill. And uh, these are young men and women who are going through some uh, early military-style training, and uh, they're trying to put their lives on the right track for the future. This crowd has really grown here, Jack, in the last 10 or 15 minutes or so since the parade started and since uh, the governor-elect uh, took his position here on the uh, reviewing stand. We anticipate this parade, Jack, to run about an hour and a half or so, and uh, this is what uh, everyone in Peaksville has been waiting for. This thing came together in a three-week period. Well, much to your credit, Bill. Uh, Bill, as uh, most of you viewers know, is the executive director of the Peekskill Cortland Chamber of Commerce and has taken the leadership role along with Bob Bodie in putting today's activities together. It's much to Bill's credit and the support of the lo local business people and uh, Bob Bodie that today's event is here. On camera now, a lot of the, uh, local dignitaries. There's Mayor Fran Gibb, uh, County Executive Tim Carey. We have a note, yeah, everybody from Pisco was there. They're all here, County Executive Andy O'Rourke, Sandy Galef, uh, former elected officials from uh, far and wide, from Austin, from Yorktown. They all came out here to support George Pataki now passing by. The reviewing stand is Linda Puglisi and the town board, and uh, they are here to show their support in working with the governor-elect, and Al Donahue, the mayor of uh, Buchanan, is also here. Mike Mongerno, former councilman, is uh, riding by in the Portland town police car. And uh, we had such a good contingent of uh, Peekskill police officers and now Cortland police going by with their color guard. Council of Black Republicans here in their large contingent. And uh, they're based throughout all of Wa uh, Westchester County. And they're all congratulating George as they go by on the reviewing stand. Obviously, very strong support is the, the Pataki campaign. This has been a, a, an undertaking, Jack, that uh, is just Im unimaginable for the city of Peekskill to do this within a uh, three-week period. And marching down the street now is George's alma mater, Peekskill High School, and the marching band. And you see the signs in the parade route. Congratulations, George. We're with you all the way. And uh, George had a lot of friends, uh, I guess, in the class of 1963. I sure did. And uh, it looks like not only the class of 63 is here, but every class thereafter. It, uh, it's a huge crowd, Bill. It's getting thicker and deeper as we, as we speak. Um, I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if the people on Washington Street have decided to come up to the, to the reviewing stand area for the activities that typically take place uh, on behalf of the dignitaries here. Well, uh, in the last couple of minutes, too, since all the dignitaries came by, uh, many of them have come on to the reviewing stand here. And there is a special presentation uh, to be made by the Peekskill High School uh, marching band and cheerleaders. And uh, we can cue our people in the control room that the cheerleaders have a special cheer and that the band has a special uh, number to play. And they're also going to be presenting George Pataki with his uh, jersey from high school basketball. Okay, the, the band is expected to stop momentarily. Looks like that's just about to happen at this point. Let's give a listen. I understand, Jack, that they've been practicing for quite some time uh, with the routine that's coming up. But Lou Panzanero, the coach from Peekskill High School, is presenting George with his jersey. Uh, Governor Elect has jumped off the, off the reviewing stand, and he's about to receive the 
the retired Peekskill High School basketball. Marvin Sound. Well, as his former classmate and Peekskill High School basketball coach, now on behalf of our team and all of Peekskill, we want to congratulate you on winning your state championship. Your Peekskill's real life Hoosier story. The road to Albany certainly wasn't paved with gold. You overcame great challenges and great odds to achieve your victory. With your inspiration, we hope one day that we'll be able to bring a state championship home. This March. This March. Yeah. 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 A presentation of the jersey having been made and somebody else here on the reviewing stand said that uh, George hasn't aged a bit and he could probably still fit in it. Well, there was... There was, there was, there was uh, you know, the, there was a lot of joshing going on during the campaign of whether Mario Cuomo, uh, the current governor and the governor-elect, might not uh, have a one-on-one -on -one in the basketball court one of these days. When we were down at uh, campaign headquarters on election night, we also ran into a few of George's college friends who had played basketball with him, too. And they were about the same size as George, actually. And uh, they were telling us a few stories about George and uh, basketball. And uh, he goes one-on-one -on -one with uh, anybody he can sometimes. And uh, he keeps jumping up and down on the uh, reviewing stand here. But hey, he's the governor-elect. He can do what he wants to do. He's been up and down about three or four times already. And. Uh, the crowd here on the reviewing stand has grown quite a bit too, and uh, we should point out while we have a moment that the sign behind the governor-elect is uh, donated by Dick Tim and Signcraft. He was down here this morning, Jack, and he put the whole sign up and decorated the uh, whole uh, Parks and Rec bus here for us. Well, yeah, it really is an impressive sign. Uh, can't see it too much now, but you do see it behind George. It's up high, and uh, George holding up his uh, Peak School High School number 30 jersey here. Yeah. Uh, we understand that we're about to hear a very special cheer from the Peekskill High School cheerleaders group, Bill. And the Peekskill High Red Devil cheerleaders coming forward. And they are moving uh, to, the fo to the front end here of the reviewing stand. The cheerleaders are getting a big round of applause by not only the uh, bystanders here, but also everyone on board the reviewing stand. And let's listen in as they get set. girls in the cheerleading squad are very happy that that's over with. I know that they've been practicing for a long time, and they're just excited that, that that's over with, and they had a terrific time doing it. And, you know, and I, I was watching the face of the governor-elect as he was watching that, and he, he was very touched. Uh, it brought some uh, tears to his eyes as I look over at him now. And now the Peace Guild High School marching band.
They've been practicing all week, Jack. They sure have. And as I look beyond the band and the cheerleaders, Bill, I can see the members of the Peekskill uh, City School District, uh, the superintendent, members of the Board of Education that will be approaching the stand soon. And they must also be very proud of these kids because they know that they've been working so hard over the last couple of weeks to pull this off on such short notice. Oh, you can see the pride in Superintendent Corder's face as he's standing there. You know, this is, this is, he's the main man there, and this is what his district uh, is here showing their, their support and their recognition for a, a former student of the district. You can see the, the look on uh, Governor Elect's face. He, it's a very touching time for him. Means a lot to him personally. These, these are students that are now in the school district that uh, supported him through his ed beginning years of his education. Superintendent Sal Corder, members of the Board of Education, school administration. See John Hallen in there, uh, very active in the Taconic Roadrunners, who's now on the Peak School uh, School Board. It's the Bats Blazers drill team, also from Peak Skill Jack. We see them annually at the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Peekskill, and every time they go by, it seems like a younger, more active group, a, a real uh, group of uh, participants who graduate and uh, new ones come in. We also have the Oakside uh, Elementary School Home School Association making its way towards the reviewing stand. Great job, Oakside. Yeah, she's Little Miss Oakside. Uh, her mom called me a couple days just before the parade and said, I need, I want my daughter to march in the parade. And I said, you're in luck because Oakside School is already Coming marching. The Paramount Center for the Arts, located right over my right shoulder on Brown And now Street. what we're looking at is the Paramount Center for the Performing Arts here in Peekskill. They have a truck that was donated by Richie Geis from Geis Auto Mall. Uh, New Miss Hazlin is the uh, director of the theater. Providing a very, very valuable service to the community and the surrounding towns. You know, Jack, uh, the day of the election, George Pataki actually came into the Paramount Center and uh, walked around the Paramount Center because he does that on a traditional basis every election day when he's running for election. And uh, I know he just looked in there and was just reflective for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Now the Elks Club is coming by, and we, had, we moved them up in the parade route because they're uh, a very special organization to us here in Peekskill. They're providing some refreshments for the uh, all the marchers, and believe me, there are a lot of marchers. There's probably more marchers in the parade than there are people on the sidelines. Yeah, and the uh, Peekskill Lodge of Elks has, does this uh, all the time. Uh, they play host to all of the visitors and participants in community events like this, and uh, it's good to have them in the lead because they have a lot of work to do for the rest of the day. And uh, they traditionally do this, actually, for a parade uh, of this nature. They open up the Elks Club, which is on Brown Street, and that's a traditional stopping point for uh, many of these parades. And this is the latest auxiliary of the uh, Elks Club. They're marching by now, too, waving at the governor-elect and showing their support, each of them carrying a U.S. flag. I think just about every single organization in the Peekskill area uh, is marching in today's parade, Jack. I don't think anybody turned us down. You know, Bill, it, it's interesting to see the, the parade pass by. Um, we, we're only touching the beginning of the, the participants in today's parade. We talk about the parade maybe being an hour and a half to two hours long. I think it's going to go longer than that because there's a lot of stopping and chatting and, and recognition and support. It's, it's not just passing and review. There's a whole lot of interaction here, Bill. And Jack, the cars going by now are the former mayors of the city of Peekskill, Mike DeBart, 
And now coming up, Bill Murden and Ted DeChristopher was in the uh, first car as they went by. And Bill Murden, of course, uh, also known for his pen and ink drawings of the city of Peekskill. And uh, this has just turned into a terrific event for everybody. Uh, coming into view now is Korean School of Dance from here in Peekskill. Great job. Have about a dozen twirlers. And the school director over shaking hand and hands and congratulating the governor-elect. And uh, the person who runs this is Corinne herself, actually, Corinne Langerin. And she is based here in Peekskill. And these kids march in almost every parade that's around, Jack. Pom -pom forward. Gotta have pom poms on a play. And I guess they're going to do a brief uh, presentation for the governor here. And these are kids ranging, looks like an age from about six or seven years old on up. I actually see a young man in the crowd here with his uh, baton. That's not a high frequency observation. And you can see some of the parents walking alongside too. And I, I think this is just about as exciting for the kids as it is for the parents sometimes. I'm sure it is. And, and not only the, do we have the, the batons, but we have the pom-poms and the flags. and. Real exciting time for these young ladies and the young men. A couple of young men I see bringing up the rear here, Bill. Actually, it looks like the age group is getting younger and younger as they go by. It is, but uh, the look of enthusiasm on all the faces. This is the American Patriotism Day Parade Committee, Jack, and uh, they march in all the parades now to remind people that they organize uh, the American Patriotism Day Parade every year for the city of Peekskill and the town of Cortland. Uh, they do, and they started this, I believe, uh, uh, the year at, at the uh, Fighting in Desert Storm ended, and uh, and they've gotten a great response in the area, Bill, and they they operate a, a larger parade every year. It's really catching on, and uh, and very appropriately so. And approaching the reviewing stand now is Peekskill La Pola Little League, and uh, they were out in front here a little while ago, and they were giving out flags to all of the other kids in the parade route, and those 500 flags were donated by Caldwell Banker uh, for this specific, this specific event. Normally, they do it only on the 4th of July. You know, I was talking to Barbara Bodner uh, earlier from Caldwell Banker, and she said they could have given out more than 1,000. They thought 500 would be enough for the kids today, but uh, more than 1,000 is what she felt was re the real need. And this is the Tarrytown VFW Bugle Corps, Fife and Bugle Corps, and uh, they have won multiple awards this year, and uh, it was difficult to get them, but let's listen in. difficult to get a hold of them on such short notice, but they were so anxious to come into the parade that they actually called us. They're a very impressive band, Bill. They won, they repeatedly win large numbers of prizes in their competitions throughout the year. And on your viewing screen right now is Chief Bob Bodie, and uh, he has been a terrific supporter of this parade. He organized this whole thing. Uh, at the parade start over the last couple of hours and I'll tell you he met with me so many countless hours I can't tell you how many times we had the opportunity to meet and he's such a great guy to work with and it wouldn't have happened without him Well, just one more political announcement uh, Bob is now second chi uh, Second chief and now running for first assistant uh, a very dedicated community uh, person, and he's out there in support of most of the community events. I know I've worked with him very closely on the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. And that's what he likes to do best. You see Father Ansborough from Assumption Church giving some advice to George Pataki as he moves by, and now the Peace Hill Fire Department is coming by. And we'll listen in. That's all we can do.
You even think that uh, the police would be used to that, but even they have their fingers and their ears. Well, it's hard noise to compete with, Bill. Continental Village has joined us here on the near the reviewing stand. Yeah, they. These sirens are there to alert people in the event of emergency, but they, they certainly provide a valuable service at the time of celebrations like this in the, in the community. That they do, that they do, Jack, and uh, you certainly get out of the way when they come down the street. Now the Peekskill Volunteer Ambulance Corps is approaching the reviewing stand along with some of the other area ambulance corps, and uh, they are stopping here right in front of the reviewing stand. They are celebrating 30 years of community service here in the Peekskill area. Yes, looking uh, further down the road here, Bill, I can see uh, ambulances from several of the surrounding communities in line. And a little further down the street, a real treat for the kids, Stuffy the Dragon, the 11 foot high dragon that is based here in the city of Peekskill uh, is making his way down on a float as you see the rest of the Volunteer Ambulance Corps members going by, congratulating, waving to George Pataki. And uh, the Cortland Volunteer Ambulance Corps moving by. And as we mentioned to you, Jack, uh, there was about three or four and another one from Peekskill moving by. And uh, they also wanted to make sure that they were in the parade. And they called us a couple of days ago and said, we definitely want to march with George Pataki. And that's what they've done. And coming down the uh, road now is Stuffy the Dragon, who you've seen uh, locally here in the city of Peekskill. I think he's the first governor ever to be congratulated by a dinosaur <laughs> or a dragon. Well, how appropriate for today. <laughs> Great interplay with Snuffy and people on the reviewing stand. I heard that Stuffy's also serving on the transition team, and nobody's going to give George any problems if he does that. That's for that's for sure. I believe that was the Joint Veterans Color Guide that was. Yes, it was. By Bill. While we have a, a quick second here, maybe we could talk with outgoing Congressman Ham Fish. Congressman Fish, can I? Yes, yeah, Stuffy the Dragon was here just a little while ago. And uh, with me now is Congressman Hamilton Fish. And uh, this is uh, probably the last parade that you'll ride in officially as Congressman. Uh, what was this kind of event like for you today? Well, having been in at least a dozen or 15 Fourth of July parades, that's what I was comparing it with. This is larger, more enthusiastic. Uh, uh, there's a difference because I think it's a, it's a sense of enormous pride uh, that this is something they contributed to. This is their their hometown boy. Uh, and there's something very wonderful about it. Republicans and Democrats, conservatives, lined the streets. Everybody had a, had a piece in this in terms of uh, being very happy about it. And, and this is, you know, something very nice and old-fashioned. I, we used to have parades all the time after elections, and I haven't seen one of these in years. So it's a wonderful thing, and it's very appropriate that it be right here in Peekskill. But it's more than Peekskill. There are there are county units represented here, so it's it's bigger than Peekskill, but it's by Peekskill. And just like George Pataki, he's not just from Peekskill anymore. Now he's from New York State. 
Thank you very much, and good luck with your retirement. We certainly appreciate your years of service. Bill, this is the Hendrick Hudson marching, High School Marching Band passing in review. The group has been led by District Superintendent Virginia Ratterer. Now coming into the cameras is the Hen Hud Mi Blue Mountain Middle School Living History Group. It's about 40 of the Blue Mountain Middle School students who carry out a social studies curriculum of living history and uh, has be ve become very famous throughout New York State. And actually, Jack, this is living history by itself. This is a terrific event for the city of Pisco, but these kids come from the town of Cortland mostly and from the surrounding area, and they have dressed up for this special occasion. And you can probably hear another fire department sneaking up behind us, Jack. And now the volunteer fire department and the members of the volunteer fire department from the city of Peekskill all saluting George Pataki and all of the other dignitaries that have gathered here on the reviewing stand. They're immediately followed by several of their apparatus, which uh, they keep and monitor in good shape all the time, and uh, they are moving by the reviewing stand now, Jack. And now multiple divisions of various fire departments led off by the Montrose Fire Department here, and then Verplank. And then also the Veterans Administration Hospital Fire Department truck will be there. And then following them are the uh, kids from the Special Olympics, and they have a special float in today's parade. It's going to be a while, Jack, before the kids from Special Olympics get here because there's a whole lineup of fire departments. And it was just nice talking to Hamilton Fish, who is the outgoing congressman from this area. Uh, his son ran against uh, Sue Kelly, and Sue Kelly was the winner in that race. And she's on the reviewing stand here somewhere, too. But this crowd has grown on the reviewing stand, and I don't know if I can get a hold of her. We'll try to do that at some point over the next couple of minutes. And, Jack, I'm sure you noticed as well as I have that there are a lot of kids riding on many of the volunteer fire department vehicles, and this has got to be a thrill for them not only to ride on a fire truck but also to see the crowds and, and the other smiling faces along the parade route. And these kids are obviously having a good time, many of them carrying U.S. flags. And you can see there the governor-elect uh, and his wife behind the fire truck there. They're having a good time. They're waving at people in the parade route. You can also see Stuffy the Dragon, who was earlier in the parade, and he has now come on by to the reviewing stand here. And he, he himself is cheering all of the other people on board the fire trucks. And uh, he was on board his own uh, private vehicle a little bit earlier today. And now he's looking at the rest of the parade as they go by. And uh, you can see the crowd actually is coming from around the uh, corner where the parade has ended, and they are now filling the streets here across the street from the reviewing stand. They want to get another glimpse of the governor-elect and all of the other dignitaries uh, who have gathered here on the reviewing stand. And it was a pleasure talking to Ham Fish, uh, the congressman from this area, just a little while ago. And he made a very interesting notation, Jack, that uh, years and years ago, uh, when he's been in the uh, Congress for a number of years now, there used to be parades following Election Day, and uh, that hasn't happened in a very, very long time, he said. And uh, this is reminiscent for him, and as many of you know, uh, this is his last term in Congress. He is retiring at the end of this year, and uh, this has got to be a, a sweet moment for him also to see uh, George Pataki become elected governor of the state of New York. And, uh, of course, Ham Fish going out with uh, dignity and grace, as he would be expected to, uh, because he's that kind of a, a person. You see the crowd there. They're actually inching in towards the uh, reviewing stand. And I think when the Clydesdale horses come down, Jack, they're going to have to move those people back a little bit further. Uh, Deb Hyatt is also on the sidelines here, and she uh, has created a limited edition T-shirt that we'll be showing you a little bit later on in the parade, but it's a, a depiction of the Pataki Farm here in the city of Pisco, which eventually, Jack, will probably become some sort of historic site and a uh, possible tourism attraction at some point in the future, uh, especially when you have the governor of New York State having uh, lived there and been born in Peekskill and gone to Peekskill High School. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to that as the years go on by.
St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, in New York City, as well as here in Peekskill, associated with the Fighting 59, uh, 69. Followed by the Kerry School of Irish Dance. And many of you know these uh, kids from the St. Patrick's Day Parade held every year here in the city of Peekskill. And these kids practice all year long, and it's a special treat for them not only to march in this parade, but also the opening of the uh, summer season in March here in the city of Peekskill when they march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And that's usually on the Thursday night before St. Patrick's Day. And that's becoming a, a big event and a big parade here in the city of Peekskill as well. Now moving by the reviewing stand is Jerry Peters and the Special Olympians. And Jerry called me at the office a couple of days ago and said, I have a, a group of Olympians that want to march in the parade. We said, uh, come on into the parade. And they're here today. And they're also going to make a special presentation, I believe, to George Pataki. And uh, George is a big supporter of the Special Olympics. And Jerry Peters was carrying the torch, which goes uh, throughout New York State. Uh, once a year, usually I think in the month of July, to promote uh, Special Olympics all over New York State. And that's usually sponsored by the local police organizations. And uh, they usually run the torch through the city of Peekskill here uh, once a year. That camera shot, if you're not familiar with it, is from the top of the James Street parking ramp, looking at the huge crowd that's gathered here on uh, James Street to honor George Pataki. And uh, up with our camera people, of course, are police officers from the city of Peekskill and surrounding communities to protect George Pataki. And now the Peekskill Republican City Committee giving the thumbs up to the governor-elect. And uh, you could tell by the looks on their faces that they are just pleased to not only be in the parade, but that George Pataki is the next governor of New York State. And many of these people worked many long hours over the last couple of months to get George to where he is today. And I know George Pataki appreciates it, and, and these people are just delighted with the fact that George Pataki will be the next governor of New York State. Many of them travel to New York City to celebrate with the Pataki family on election night, and uh, they are here in Peekskill today to do the same. And now approaching the reviewing stand, a contingent of vehicles from Revolutionary Auto Body, and you can see the small tow truck there with uh, Mario Cuomo on the uh, bumper of the one truck and high taxes being towed right out of town. And that, of course, one of the major platforms that got George Pataki elected. We talked to him at the top of the parade, and he said that his uh, task is daunting now because there's some $5 billion in budget gaps that have to be um, corralled over the next couple of weeks, and he's going to be making proposals to do that and also to make sure he gets his tax cut uh, put out there to the residents of New York State. As the uh, big sign goes by, Governor of New York, George Pataki from Peekskill to Albany, that's the theme of this parade. And uh, we see a lot of those signs around town. Yeah, it's a beautiful sign, Bill. I don't know when we lost our audio. Uh, coming into view now is uh, Ronald McDonald. Uh, who's All right, Ronald is in a, sticking through the, the rooftop. <laughs> then the... Uh, a Mercedes out front, followed by the Ronald McDonald van. And that certainly is a treat for the uh, kids to see Ronald McDonald. You're on my toes dancing, Academy. Yeah. And uh, these kids just started uh, classes in the beginning of September, and uh, that crowd has certainly grown. I'm the, the oldest Boy Scout troop in America. Peak Skills Troop 1 coming into view. We also have different Cub Packs. Uh, Cub Pack 45, 127, 144, and 36 are scheduled to be here. And I'm sure that there are also a number of Girl Scout troops that might have uh, squeezed into the parade route here at some point. I'm sure, Bill, there are so many Scouts in this parade that it's going to be hard for us to identify each of the groups individually. But a, a very, very strong representation of, uh, of the Scouting movement. And, you know, it was uh, difficult to put the whole parade on inside of a three-week period, but uh, it's got to be even more difficult for the moms to get uh, all the kids here on time and uh, out in front and make sure that they're dressed properly and into the parade route. Well, never mind that, but do you imagine all the other things that moms have to do on Saturday as part of their routines with uh, all the other things that happened? Uh, and uh, trying to fit this in, I'm sure, has been especially difficult for them. Especially on a Saturday in the uh, beginning part of December when everybody else out is going out shopping, probably. That's right. You know, we, we talk about the business people supporting this event. I wonder how many people are in their stores right now, Bill. Well, we're hoping that they uh, stick around downtown and that they came in a little bit early. 
Passing by now are the Croton Tigers High School Marching Band from Croton High School. Here's the Christopher Columbus Society. There's former Mayor Vesey's wife carrying the banner. <laughs> Needless to say, former Mayor Vesey had some remark for his wife as she passed by. Well, you got to get the publicity where you can. <laughs> You know, Jack, uh, as the Croton uh, School District went by, all the school districts locally are taking part in today's parade. Right. Uh, I see uh, among the crowd in the Christopher Columbus Society group is, uh, is the wife of Dominic Bertolini here. Again, uh, we kind of give the Bertolinis enough thanks for their support of today's activity. And he told us every time we mentioned the Clydesdales that uh, we would get a free Budweiser at Crystal Bay. I'll tell you, Tommy Bertolini told me if we mentioned him by name, I could get a Bertolini Clydesdale sweater. Oh, well, what do I get? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's give Tommy a plug. Absolutely. Tommy at Crystal Bay was a big supporter of uh, all the events that uh, were coordinated through him, uh, including the dinner for George Pataki uh, prior to the election, and then, of course, the night before the election, that was George Pataki's big send-off uh, prior to winning the governor's race. Bill, I think you just blew the sweater. I was talking about Tommy Bertolini. I blew the sweater. They're not on our program, Bill, but that was St. Benedict's marching band from the Bronx. Uh, a late entry, obviously, and didn't get into our program. And then members, life members of the Mount Carmel Society moving on by. And they, of course, put the big Mount Carmel feast on every year. And a lot of people certainly attend that. And they, a lot of them have, obviously, Pataki uh, posters, and uh, they're, just, they're just proud to be marching today. And there's Joe Camoli. Uh, used to be a, uh, a volunteer for Continental Cable. Uh, Bill, and these are uh, staff members from the uh, Hudson Valley Hospital Center here in Peekskill. That's right, including their director of marketing, Pat Morrow. And now the Peekskill Museum is moving on by, including John Curran. Well, the, the parade is moving, uh, moving along quite rapidly now. I think we're playing some catch-up on our anticipated time schedule, Bill. I think we're also probably clearing a few people out towards the end of the parade route, which certainly helps. And now approaching the reviewing stand are the Peace Girl Lions Club. And again, another good community organization, Jack, that does a lot, uh, not just for the city of Peace Girl, but from the whole area. Outstanding group of... Uh, of men uh, always involved in community and the support of uh, community activities. We saw Don Ettinger and uh, Gary Cahill and Bill Tovar and several others who we know and are big supporters of what we do here in the city of Peekskill. And, here's the Rotary. and this is the Rotary Club. Uh, some of them are marching and some of them are riding. And it was a 1.5 mile parade route. And we see Gary Fox, the owner of the Peekskill Motor Inn, waving a U.S. flag as he goes down the reviewing stand. And these guys have a great shot because they can, they can see George from the top of the truck. They sure can. And there's Sam Oliverio there. How are you, Sam? We also saw Lil Henning, who's a member of the uh, Rotary Club and also on our board of directors. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> former, former Mayor right, Vinnie Vessey. Former, former Mayor Vinnie Vesey is uh, doing the PA announcing here for this reviewing uh, stand. And while we have a moment, and as we watch, uh, we want to remind you that you're watching coverage of the from Albany, from the Peekskill to Albany parade here in the city of Peekskill on December 3rd. And approaching the reviewing stand right now, Jack, is the Salvation Army, and they certainly do. A, a big effort here whenever there's a problem in the city or in the surrounding area. Yeah, they're, a, they're an agency that's been around for a long time, Bill, and cer certainly have served our military uh, and disaster personnel quite well. And uh, they go to the scene when uh, probably nobody else wants to go. They always show up in an emergency situation, and their efforts are certainly appreciated not only by 
uh, the Pataki family, but I'm sure the residents of the city of Peekskill, and they have two canteen trucks that have gone by. This is the mobile canteen truck uh, decorated with Christmas lights uh, because we are into the Christmas season. And now we have Don Bennett, who is driving the WLNA mobile van, and we want to point out that the local radio station has actually interrupted, I think, the Army-Navy game for a half an hour to bring coverage of this whole thing to the listeners. Well, you know, for a while, Mike Bennett had his headset on and was keeping me posted with the game. And last I heard, it was 1410 Navy. I'm sure it's uh, changed since then because that was a while back. They had anticipated being able to come to the parade live at, at halftime, but I think that whole schedule went right out the window, Jack, uh, when the parade started a little bit late and uh, we had so much other activity here at the beginning of the uh, parade. Well, we Yorktown Heights Fire Department with Santa Claus aboard. It was kind of funny, Jack. We had a, a Santa Claus was booked on another uh, vehicle, and uh, we found out late yesterday they couldn't ride on that one. So Santa Claus was homeless for a little while this morning. But I, I, I like to thank our friends from Yorktown Heights who uh, picked them up on the uh, on the ride here. Uh, and he's certainly waving around to the kids, and the kids are certainly enjoying that. And we promised the kids that Santa Claus would be in the parade when we had our tree lighting here just a couple of days ago. And this is the... Valley Artists Association uh, passing by, Bill. Uh, you might want to explain the, the movement of the artists uh, into the Peekskill community. These people are the, uh, the backbone now behind our artist community. There are some 50 artists that have located into the city of Peekskill, and now the ancient order of Hibernians are going by the reviewing stand. And George Pataki has always been a big supporter of the Irish events here in the city of Peekskill. He sure has, Bill. And amongst the crew from the AOH uh, are mixed in members of the Peekskill St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. And the original president, Dan Caffrey, is there, Jack McAndrew. Uh, I see uh, Benny Keeney and a lot of the other people that work so, uh, so well on behalf of the... Uh, and there goes Chef Stanley uh, and his whole crew. Uh, being chauffeured driven by his, uh, by his wife and uh, accompanied by the kids as well. And then the Daughters of American Revolution, the Pierre Van Cortland chapter here locally, just moving beyond the reviewing stand as well. And uh, we have another couple of divisions actually before uh, this parade is done with. This is a big event here for the city of Peekskill. <laughs> And now the Austin High School cheerleaders. Yeah, the Austin Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Real. And here's the James O'Neill High School. Red rate is from Highland Falls. I believe one of the Pataki girls goes to that school. That's right, Emily actually attends there. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I think they wanted to march in today's uh, parade. Let's listen in. While we have another second here, Jack, we also want to thank the uh, Peekskill School District. Uh, they came down and put risers up across the street so that not only Continental Cable, but all the other local media and uh, statewide media could get their cameras set up and take good uh, pictures of the governor as he reviews the parade. And uh, moving by the reviewing stand right now, the Yorktown area JCs, they cover the Peekskill and Cortland area as well. You know, that's another amazing thing about this event, Bill, is uh, there was nothing that couldn't be done. Uh, when there was a task identified, there was always one of the community groups or school districts or whatever that jumped in to make sure that things were in place. And actually, high school jazz group.
nice big smile by one of the kids on the uh, jazz band float. And this is uh, the contingent from the Yorktown area now. Yorktown Republican. Yorktown Republican group, including uh, Rosemary Panio, who was also a, uh, helped us out actually with the parade, one of the main parade coordinators. And also Joe Panio, her son. And uh, they're, they have red, white, and blue balloons, and uh, they seem to be having a good time along the parade route. We also want to point out, while we have another second here, that uh, the two other key people for it. Top 10 ways to mispronounce Governor Pataki's name. Suvalaki, Paturki, Pataka Chiki, Patuki, Kapkakis, you know, there's a whole bunch of... My favorite is Colt Six, pa six Packy. And actually, we, we showed people that from the David Letterman show a little bit earlier. Lakeland High School Chile is passing now. You know, we mentioned before that the Peace Corps Police Department has been instrumental in getting this event together. We also want to thank uh, Lieutenants Stillman, Owen, and Williams for coordinating security for us and making our job a lot easier, Jack. Uh, the Panis cheerleaders are about to put on a demonstration. From Walter Panis, the Walter Panis High School cheerleaders. And Jack, this is Division 5, which uh, has everybody from Putnam. Putnam County. Right. And look at the sunshine, Bill. They brought the sunshine along with them from Putnam. The color guard is from the Putnam County Sheriff's Department. They're going to be followed by the County Republican Committee with elected officials from Brewster, Carmel, Mayapak, Patterson, and Ken. And uh, they have such a big division, we, we gave them their own division, Jack, for the entire uh, Putnam County area. Real great response. As you know that uh, George Pataki lives in Putnam County. Yeah, he d does, uh, living in Garrison. And we always say that George Pataki's hometown is Peekskill, and that's true, but he has a home in Garrison now. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if, if the family relocates to Albany. There's some discussion about not wanting to disrupt the uh, school attendance of the kids. Sure, and that certainly is a major consideration. Even though they are going to become the uh, first family in New York State, they're still concerned with uh, their children. That's right, absolutely. It comes first to them. Uh, more dignitaries from Putnam and a little bantering going on uh, from the uh, parade participants back and forth between the governor-elect, Putnam County Conservative Party coming into view at this time. Did you happen to see Bill Spinelli anywhere in there? I haven't seen him yet. Um, Bill being the uh, supervisor of the town of Putt Valley, former administrator in the Lakeland School District. Now coming by our counterparts from the Peaceful Cortland Chamber of Commerce or our counterparts from Mayapak Chamber of Commerce. Hey Joe. Joe Gervin.
they did that completely impromptu. Yeah, I can tell it. You can tell it wasn't rehearsed. And they're carrying the Pataki 98 signs already. A large contingent from Putnam County, Bill. Very good representation. You know, what's really fun about that, Jack, is that uh, they look like they had fun doing that. Uh, they did. They had a ball. I'm sure that, you know, they've rehearsed it for a week or so and uh, couldn't wait to do it, and now they have it out of their system. Well, they didn't have a lot of time to rehearse. You're absolutely right. <laughs> That's right. You know that better than anybody, Bill. You've, you've had three weeks to put this gala event together, and... Uh, that's not very much time at all to pull something this large off, and you certainly ought to be commended for doing such an outstanding job. Especially with uh, Thanksgiving weekend smack dab in the middle of it. That's, that's right, too. There's uh, Bill Spinelli. He's on the behind the helm of the uh, rescue boat that's used by the Putt Valley Police Department uh, in the many lakes in their, in their area. And uh, he's at the helm, too. That's right. Look at him. Look at him. Spinelli! <laughs> he, uh, he's certainly doing a good job up in Putnam Valley. Let me tell you another thing. When Bill was principal at the Pennis High School, he and I worked together on behalf of the developmentally disabled in their Special Olympics programs. And he got the Panis High School Varsity Club to work as training volunteers for the mentally retarded, which became a, a model program throughout the country for Special Olympics back then. And he's continuing his service to the community uh, as the supervisor of Putnam Valley. And uh, you know, this crowd is inching a little bit closer and closer, and you can see the police now trying to move them back a little bit more because uh, they need a wide area for the fire trucks to get through and for the bands to get through, and now they're starting to move people back a little bit. There's plenty of room for them, so they will be doing that. You know, Bill, it's, it's hard to tell why, but before the parade started, the security here was very tight, and they weren't letting people without credentials into the area. Now it's looked like they've let the community come in and get up close to the governor-elect. And I think that's what George wanted all the way along, too, Jack. This is the sort of light, local three, IBEW, pipe, pipe and drum band from New York City. Certainly a special treat for everyone gathered here, uh, Jack. Uh, they got the biggest round of applause so far, I think, in terms of a professional band coming by. Very, very impressive group. Now the Garrison Pony Club is coming into view, Bill. Oh, and this is a treat for the kids, because yeah. we didn't know that this was going to be in until actually this morning when we got the uh, rundown from... Uh, last minute entry. Very impressive. Nice. And just the forerunner of the Clydesdales, I guess, too, Jack, right? I would guess so. Uh, not, quite as, not quite as hairy, though. <laughs> miniature versions, to say the least. <laughs> uh, now they're all joking about what the horses leave behind. Yeah. 
there's approximately 17 or 18 different uh, groups, organizations, fire departments, and whatnot um, who are marching in this particular division, Jack. Yeah, this is the Putt Valley Fire Department that's coming into view at this time, Bill. Hi, how are you? I'm Bill Powers. We're with Continental Cable Vision, and uh, this is the district attorney for Westchester County. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you saw on the parade route on your way in? Well, on my way in, I saw all kinds of people lined up on the streets, people who are ecstatic, who are excited, who are proud to be from the town that George Pataki's from, or the city. And uh, it's a very heartwarming experience for all of us, because what you're seeing here is true feeling that one of Peekskills became the governor of the state of New York. And I'm proud to be a part of this, so I'm delighted to be here. Well, thank you for coming on up here, and we certainly appreciate your, uh, your help and also the help of your staff in getting you here today. <laughs> because uh, we, we've talked to them a couple times this week, and uh, you have a great staff, and thank you for coming to Peekskill. Thank you. I do have a, a great staff. I'm proud of them. They work hard. They work for the people of this county. We have a job to do, and hopefully we're getting it done. Okay, thank you. We'll see you later. That was uh, District Attorney Janine Pirro, who has made her way up here to Peekskill to honor George Pataki, and uh, a number of other county officials are also here, Jack, and uh, everybody's just here to support George Pataki today. It, it's amazing the response, Bill. Uh, you know, it was just mentioned in passing uh, in a newspaper article just three weeks ago that wouldn't it be nice? Uh, significant people, specifically ex-mayor uh, Vin Vesey, uh, deputy mayor, um, uh, trying to think and look at the same time here, R uh, deputy mayor uh, Richie Jackson uh, and uh, Mayor Fran Gibbs all got together and decided that and you know, let's not talk about it, let's do it. Uh, and with your cooperation and the cooperation of Bob Bodie, we're able to pull off a, a very, very magnificent event, probably one of the largest ever held in the city, Bill. And that's what it seems like, Jack. Uh, we got a lot of support from a lot of different people, and uh, there was a lot of interest. And in fact, uh, we didn't want to have to turn anybody away, but with uh, only three weeks to put everything together, we had to start doing that towards the end there. And, uh, you know, we apologize for not being able to get everybody into the parade, but we try to get a cross-representation of our communities, and I think we succeeded in doing that. And I know I learned a lot by putting on a parade of this size in such a short notice. Well, you, you certainly demonstrated your ability to do it, Bill, and, and it's a tribute to your organizational skills to make it such a, a successful event and such a happy one. Congratulations, Governor! North Highlands Engine offering its congratulations to the Governor elect Pataki. The Parole Officers Association coming by now. Also, we should give credit and recognition to Continental Cablevision, Bill, uh, and the Mike Miner and his crew for doing their outstanding job as usual uh, in, in responding to community uh, activities uh, that deserve uh, this kind of uh, publicity and uh, opportunity for the viewing public to to see it. Uh, those of who couldn't be with us today are able to see it, I'm sure, on subsequent viewings on Channel 6. And uh, my vision is blocked, Jack, but uh, you could see that a uh, number of people wanted to come up and shake some of the hands of some of the dignitaries here from the uh, New York State parole officers and court officers are all in this division, actually. You know, Bill, Bill Debbie Hyatt uh, has become a uh, well-known artist in the Peekskill area, and she has drawn uh, many critical scenes of uh, the Hudson Valley, especially around, around the Peekskill area. And, and she just did one of the Pataki Farm, um, 
uh, and it beautifully done and has uh, been put on t-shirts and has been uh, uncovered for sale here today uh, here in Peekskill. And I'm sure that anybody that wants one can, can get one from the uh, local Chamber of Commerce office. These are young colonels from, from Carmel. And they're certainly a crowd pleaser whenever they come by. They've been in a lot of parades here in Peekskill. <laughs> and uh, that's the smallest car, I think, of the parade route. It's not the, it's not, it's not the smallest tow truck, which we saw a little bit earlier, but it's the smallest car. Joyce Plumbing Supply. Joyce Plumbing, yeah, they spent uh, a couple hundred dollars at getting that banner put together, and uh, they wanted to be in the parade, and we said, come, come right in. And uh, they're here locally, and they've been here for a very long time in the city of Peekskill, and they're big supporters of the Patakis. And actually, they got the sign made, Jack, because they thought the parade route might go up past their business on Division Street, but that didn't happen. And uh, we were lucky, lucky enough to get them into the parade. Uh, y yesterday, uh, Bill, I was... Uh with Dominic Bertolini uh, at the uh, armory viewing the Clydesdales. And uh, I'll tell you, they are just an impressive collection of animals. And uh, Dominic presented me with the hat that you've just seen on camera, uh, and one for you too, uh, as a tribute to uh, our support of uh, the Bertolinis and their, their uh, uh, enthusiastic support of uh, today's event. New York State Court Officers Band. Car, car approaching the banner of the Fraternal Order of Police. And uh, they're just going to come up very quickly and actually make a presentation to uh, the governor. And uh, they're going to take a picture here. And uh, there's some 100 police officers here gathered on the sides here in the city of Peekskill. And they're making a presentation. 1970 Plymouth Fury police car. That was uh, the president of the FOP, Robert Lucente, and also that's uh, Executive Vice President R.C. Ordorino from Local Lodge 54. And I also believe the Road Knights Auto Club of Peekskill and President Andy Pinto is presenting, uh, or will be presenting, the uh, governor-elect with another plaque and also a jacket. And I believe that George Pataki is an honorary member of the Road Knights here in the Peekskill and Cortland area. I think you're right, Bill. And the car that they were riding in is a 1970 Plymouth Fury, uh, is a New York City Police Department uh, vehicle. And the Road Knights are going to be passing through with replicas of uh, police cars uh, for today's demonstration. I think I'm beginning to see others come into view, Bill. Yes, and as the Road Knights approach, uh, they are going to make the presentation of the plaque and also of a T-shirt. And there are approximately, I think, uh, eight or nine or ten cars that are supposed to go by the reviewing stand here. And these are, again, from the Road Knights. And uh, they were actually, most of these cars, Jack, were actually put back into storage for the winter because they don't really travel during the winter. And the other concern was that we might have had snow today and uh, they might not have been able to come out. But uh, that certainly is not the case. We've had beautiful weather today. No, we only have snow for the St. Patrick's Day parade, Bill. They're making that presentation to Governor-elect Pataki now at the front of the reviewing stand. Some beautiful cars, Bill. 
Tim, Mustang convertible. I don't know the year. Well, the owners of these cars uh, take such good care of them over the, uh, you know, over the years that uh, they're a real special treat for everyone here in Peekskill to see them. And especially here in December, this almost doesn't ever happen uh, that you see the road nights out in December. Ah, that's right. Uh, yeah, these cars are well preserved, uh, and uh, they don't want the elements to get a hold of them. And thank heavens the 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 weather is the way it is today. There's no threat of any problem to the condition of these vehicles. And I think, as I said, it's going to be about eight or ten cars uh, out today. Well, there are six or eight, uh, in, as long as as far back as I can see here, Bill. I'll tell you, Jack, on a personal level, it's, it's just great to see George Pataki come back to the city of Peekskill where he got his start. And I have to tell you, I, I haven't had this much fun in a long time, and I didn't have the opportunity to see George on election night uh, because it was such a crowded situation at the Hilton in New York City. But uh, this has certainly changed uh, everything for us with him coming back to Peekskill today. And I, this crowd hasn't thinned out one bit. They've all stayed here. They're watching every single presentation. And they want to make sure that uh, they, they caught the glimpse of the governor-elect, and they wanted to wish him well wherever they could. You know, it's going to be interesting, Bill. Uh, we're approaching the end of the parade, I would guess, within several minutes. And I'm sure that the security people here have in the back of their mind of uh, just how are we going to manage this crowd that is so enthusiastic. I don't think they're worried about it. It's a very orderly crowd. And yeah. it looks like everybody here is just happy, having a good time, and, and uh, just wanting to, to and share a great day with the governor-elect. And the post, off the post office here, the uh, units from the local Peekskill branch in the parade route, the Postal Workers Union, Seattle. followed by the Westchester Platinum Adult Daycare Center. Yeah. Uh, now we have Bob Tall and his contingent. He's got a monster fire truck and an antique fire truck. And we are getting close to the parade and also to the highlight of the parade, the Clydesdale horses. And you know people are waiting to see them. Bill, the Clydesdales are uh, just a fascinating, fascinating collection of, of animals. Uh, I, yesterday I learned that each working horse consumes 50 to 60 pounds of hay and 20 to 25 quarts of food feed per day. And the feed is a mixture of beef pump, Crimp oats, bran, minerals, salt, molasses, and water. Perfect for a hungry horse, Bill. Transporting the Clydesdales is a major enterprise. They travel in a caravan of three custom-built vans with thick rubber flooring, air suspension, and vent fans to ease the long hours on the road. The first two vans carry the Clydesdales, and the third carries everything else, the, the brewery wagon, the feed, the portable stalls, the harness, and the other trappings and, and gear. And this is Doug Ferroni. He's like Chef Stanley. He takes his entire audio system wherever he goes. Chef Stanley takes his oven with him to make pizzas wherever he goes. <laughs> yeah, right, Bill. He's actually, a great singer, great voice. Actually, Jack, I want to touch you, uh, let you know that a lot of the people who were at the end of the parade route are now making their way back here so that they can see the Clydesdale horses as they come by. But first, the, uh, the monster fire truck from Bob Tall and Fantasy Acres. This will certainly get you around Peekskill if there's ever any traffic jams. And let me tell you, there were some traffic jams uh, on Washington Street a little bit earlier today. Whoa. Whoa, almost had a little accident. Or a big accident, depending on which way. It's a little hard for the guy in the behind the wheel of the big one to see the little guy. <laughs> he just scooted around that big guy and the little one came back and is about to make some kind of a presentation to the governor-elect, I believe. Uh, no, he just, uh, I guess he just went a little out of control. <laughs> uh, the security people weren't too happy about that. Not happy at all, Bill. Oh, and this is the truck we've all been waiting for. And behind the wheel is, uh, look, actually, I can't see like him. Jimmy Bertolini, but I don't think it is. No, it's not. I can't see who it is, but a lot of the kids are riding on the truck. Yeah. No, here's Jimmy Bertolini right, driving the Jeep. And there's Slim Bertolini and Tommy Bertolini as well. And, 
and they have color-coordinated Jeeps today. Tommy Bertolini waving to everybody here on the reviewing stand. <laughs> And pointing to the hat that you got yesterday. And promising the sweater as it went by, Bill. <laughs> There's John Bertolini going by. And this is going to be an event. They're going to move the crowd back now because uh, they need a lot of clearance room, Jack. Yeah, the Clyde, Clydesdales are coming into view, Bill. You know, they're, they're bred for their tremendous strength. They're descendants from a great, great war of horses in Europe. Their power enabled them to pull heavy plows and wagons with ease using high graceful strides. Clydesdales were brought to North America around 1842 and were soon a familiar part of the American scene. They were used daily for delivery, transportation, until the return of the century when they were replaced by trucks, the new horsepower. And there they go, Bill, the Clydesdales of Anheuser-Busch. And on top is Dominic, Dominic Bertolini, Bertolini, chairman of the board of D. Bertolini and Sons. And uh, Dominic Bertolini passing out two jackets, uh, probably one for Libby and also one for George. And Dominic Bertolini giving the thumbs up. <laughs> and, and the horses are dancing to the music, Jack. Whoa. And that's a treat for not only the kids, but the adults, and everybody certainly waited for that. And I was also told, I was also told they're going to be uh, moving right out. And we want to thank everybody. Former Mayor Vinnie Vesey announcing to everyone that the parade is concluding. And uh, everyone here giving a big round of applause to George Pataki, Libby Pataki. You see uh, former Mayor Vesey there right next to them. He's giving uh, some congratulations to people who have gathered in front of the reviewing stand. And the police are now moving in to keep some kind of order here. And uh, there are a lot of people here, a lot of cameras, Jack. Uh, you know, Bill, it's interesting. The governor-elect has stayed here throughout the entire event, which I'm sure uh, put a lot of pressure on the security people, especially at a time right now. The crowd is, is gathering. It's, it's getting looser. Uh, everybody now wants to have an opportunity to shake his hand, but the security is tight. They're doing a super job here protecting the governor-elect uh, uh, from any possible danger. Uh, and uh, the governor-elect is uh, just nonchalantly interacting with people who want to come up and say hello. He, he just being, uh, you know, the George Pataki that they would bump into on the streets of Peekskill any other day of the week. And uh, there are also uh, a couple of the other camera people are here trying to get uh, an interview with George Pataki. And now the, and now the crowd is uh, starting its own little chant here, and we can't hear what it is. But uh, they do have a, a big crowd here. Now the police are moving in and cordoning off an area so that uh, this situation doesn't get out of control. And I've got to tell you, it's... really special and uh, I've always said Peekskill has the greatest community spirit in the world and you see it today and everybody's just proud I don't think it's so much for me as it is for Peekskill that someone from Peekskill has risen to this level and I'm not going to forget the high school the teachers the neighbors the friends uh, that have made me have this opportunity did you ever imagine when you were growing up here that you'd have a parade in your honor uh, I, uh, I remember as a little kid I loved the parades my father and grandparents would be marching with the fire departments and uh, I always had a dream that when I grew up I'd be marching uh, with the fire companies or with the Cub Scouts. And as a little kid in Peak School, I did march with the Cub Scouts, and uh, it's just a tremendous honor. But I never dreamed that they would have a parade honoring me. It's just a tremendous, tremendous honor. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have any thank other questions? Were you part of the high school basketball team? Yeah, I was on the basketball team. I was in the band. I did all. Well, they're, they're all groups. And uh, George Pataki having a few last words for the people here on the reviewing stand. And uh, we couldn't hear what he said, but we know that uh, he shared some good thoughts with the people at Peekskill.
Mrs. Lois, who was my Cub Scout master when I was eight years old. And I see my class base from the class of 63 at Peekskill High School. You're the ones who have given me this opportunity. You're the ones who have made me the person that I am. And I can just thank all of you. God bless you. You know, they might be able to take me out of Peekskill, but I'll be back. They can't take Peekskill out of me. And I, and I will be back here. Libby and I and our kids, my mother and all of us, this is our hometown and we'll always be right here in Peekskill. God bless you all for being here for this wonderful parade. Thank you. And some closing words from George Pataki as he jumps off the reviewing stand one more time to talk to some of the other reporters, including the Gannett newspaper reporters. And uh, this crowd hasn't left. In fact, I think it's grown and it's actually gotten a little bit closer. And a lot of the people who were on the parade route uh, have actually circled back around to uh, hear the governor-elect's closing words, Jack. You know, Bill, it, it's, it's fascinating. The, the crowd is not unlike a, a, a crowd supporting a ball team that has just won the Super Bowl and trying to, to swarm on the field and touch the players and, and be near, close up to the, to the real heroes. J today, George Pataki was the hero. Hometown boy, now the governor of the state, after being its mayor, its assemblyman, uh, its senator, and now the governor of the state of New York. And as George uh, quite ably put it, he is, he is peak skill and always will be. And we want to thank everybody for watching here on Continental Cablevision. This concludes our coverage of the From Peekskill to Albany Parade, and we'll be having a lot more information for everybody about the inauguration come January 1st. And we certainly want to wish everyone uh, a, a good luck in uh, January in the new year and a happy holiday season from all of us here in the city of Peekskill. Thanks for watching.